is absolutely able to carry himself with people from all walks of life. He's just a normal guy, and he loves race cars, which is a bonus. My name is Jeffrey Ibrahim. I'm from Johor, Malaysia, and I'm in Australia to race the GT World Challenge. So I'm here in Australia and we're in practice mode for our final race in Bathurst. We need to do as much practice as we can. We were supposed to go racing in 2020, but uh, I guess everyone know what happened. So then me and the team decided, okay, let's race in Australia in the GT. The Prince is on the prowl. How good does that feel to win at the mountain? Out of words at the moment. So my family here in Australia is the entire Triple Eight crew. RD is the team principal, Simo is my team manager, and Shane is my co-driver and mentor. My younger brother is also here, having his very first test in a GT car. What's the target lap time? 9.5. 9.5? Beat my lap? Yeah. <laughs> he is basically just like trouble and speed. Just gonna give him some run. But not too much, you know. Don't trust him. Trust him, but why? Because it's your car. <laughs> Probably the worst. <laughs> this test day will be quite important for us, trying to get as much data as we can and also improve my, my time as I, we haven't been driving quite a lot in the car. We have only a few months till the last round. So this test is going to be very crucial for the car setup in Bathurst. Simo, what's the plan? Well, obviously we've got the, uh, the new Pirelli that we want to try and have a run on before we get to Bathurst. Uh, young Boo's going to have a run as well, then Shane's going to have a skid on the new tyre and we'll back to back it with the old Pirelli and we'll see where we end up. Yeah, definitely will be good to test and see how it feels. Good chance to get back in the car. And yeah. yeah. I know I'm you've been good. hanging out to have another skid. Well, we'll make the most out of it. We had a good test last time, so. Hopefully we get a lot of good data from, from this test as well. We have cool cars and supercars, but some of the GT cars, they're, they're a little bit next level cool. Like, yeah, I have to be honest, when we've got the, the Merc running around, it's a pretty cool thing to see. It's pretty exciting. You've got Iman, you've got Shane driving together. great you know racing with Shane we know each other quite well he knows my weakness uh, he knows my strong points we have our aims and an objective that we work together throughout yeah we're here to have a crack and um, you know the commitment that he's showing and training every day and, and also making himself better at Norwell and driving it's it's been awesome Prince Jeffrey's been able to to really tap into the enthusiasm and the skill set of Shane Van Gisbergen. Get on the throttle earlier, one, carry the speed, and turn two, you gotta drive in faster. See, so you're on the throttle and then you come back out of it. Yeah. Shane knows how to drive pretty much as, as well as anyone in the world, to be honest. So for Prince Jeffrey to be able to tap into that resource is fantastic from our point of view, but also from, from his. He hasn't been racing long, you know, probably this is his second season really in his first season. It's not often you see someone jump straight into racing and into a GT car. He's got a lot to learn and he's so dedicated and so, you know, concentrating so much and getting as much information as he can in a short amount of time to slow up that learning experience. I don't have the experience as all the drivers that I'm racing against. You know, they've been racing for 10, 20 years or even more. I take my fitness seriously. The car is physically and technically tough to drive, so it's important to have your body and mind in shape. That way, I can just focus on the driving. The guy is incredibly motivated and is one of the, physically one of the fittest people in the sport. He doesn't break sweat when he gets out of the car, so he's got plenty of peripheral energy to use for his driving. I think once the suit is on, the helmet is on, the fear is all gone, definitely. Our aim as a team's aim is to, to score points for the championship. We out there, the team have our objective, 
and it's just to go out there and to do our whole job. And then, our car broke. This is the last thing we needed just before Bathurst and we feared the worst. I don't know what was it. Hopefully, it's it's not major. SVG was too fast. That was a problem. <laughs> Thankfully, the engine was okay. The problem was just a loose bearing in front of the gearbox. Although it cut our testing short, I'm just grateful we can still get to Bathurst. <laughs>